Hi everybody, Mahesh here. Welcome to my weekly video series where I usually pick up few hot stocks, um, provide my research on it and uh, give you my feedback on whether I think it's a good, uh, whether I see a good time to buy or not. Um, I usually create these videos every week. Um, but last month I was not able to create any videos. Uh, I just became a dad again. So <laughs> I can, you can guess uh, uh, our new kid is keeping me very busy. So hopefully from this week onward, uh, I'll try to get back to the rhythm again. So today I decided uh, uh, to keep it a little bit generic rather than picking up a stock and uh, providing you with my research or uh, giving you my feedback on whether I see any buying opportunity or whether I see uh, if it has reached that, uh, you know, it has seen a recent run up. So today I, I'm just going to give you a general overview of Outlier, the platform that I usually use uh, for the research and uh, as a disclosure, I'm co-founder of this company as well. So uh, how our members use this platform, how you can benefit from it. By the way, this is uh, free um, in, in free pilot. You can sign up with just an email and check it out. So as soon as you log in uh, to the platform, first thing you will see the, uh, the view of market daily market perception. So what it is, is uh, think of it as that you will get uh, like a 36,000 feet view of the overall markets uh, the each 11 sectors um, where our software is telling whether the sector is too fearful or in that greed zone. Um, so if you think about fear and greed from that perspective, um, you know, they always say that you should get into the market or you should buy when market is fearful and you should be very cautious uh, when market is too greedy. So this indicator is just uh, providing you that score and the visual information on the stocks that we cover around 1300 of them that we uh, companies that we cover mostly start from like um, mega caps uh, to large caps to you know uh, uh, mid caps uh, so on and so forth so let's take an example of let's say technology sector i click here so i have two views here one is evenly weighted and then one is market cap weighted uh, my personal favorite is market cap uh, because uh, as you can think of that within a sector there are few companies which are you know the the mega caps or you know large cap companies and usually what happens is they literally move the sector if they are going up there is a very high probability that overall sector or if you are thinking from um, taking any sector ETF as a proxy it will drag that uh, sector up if it is going up and vice versa if it is going down uh, doesn't matter like sometime um, the other companies even they are doing good there is a very high probability that the bigger company will drag the sector overall sector down with themselves so this is very important information uh, to know on daily basis and that we provide outlier provide uh, you can log in uh, you can see like today like technology sector uh, Microsoft has seen recent run-up um, I, I saw a recent news on that cancellation of that uh, um, Jedi contract with with the uh, uh, Department of uh, Homeland Security uh, so so the thing is that if I look here in my mind I will think of okay Microsoft has seen a recent run up it's it's kind of in that greed zone i should be careful like if i am already in microsoft i should pay close attention to whether i need to rebalance or just okay yeah i'm, I'm just gonna hold through it so that is a different story but if you are looking to kind of uh, rebalance this may be the time uh, to do that so if i scroll it down here uh, for technology sector, uh, you will see the proxy, uh, the state street uh, sector spider XLK as a proxy here. So uh, th this view basically uh, tells you a story about that same fear and greed and how we uh, track it and how we provide that uh, to our members. 
these bars are just the close price end of the day close price uh, for XLK in this case and these red and blue zones red zones essentially are these fear zones so when I see them in my mind I think of it as okay if I am tracking this company or this stock uh, if I am planning to buy it this may be a good time to buy it uh, along with this uh, forward-looking oscillator which has a directional quality to it so if it is coming from like if it is changing direction from bottom to up and if it is coinciding with this red zone this kind of gives me that confirmation that the there is a very high probability the prices uh, probably are going to see that upward movement in coming days uh, weeks or even months uh, by the way this tool is not for like day traders where you expect uh, quick uh, you know uh, up and down in the in the prices uh, you know at least that that's how we kind of that's how we have built this tool uh, so that uh, you do not want to be too active uh, yet also you don't want to be like completely passive then this tool is kind of for you uh, so you saw that in XLK back in May like mid of May the prices were price was somewhere around 133 and this is where we were kind of Telling that okay, this may be a good time to buy according to this chart that you see here and uh, In coming weeks few weeks it has gone up from like this this price point up to you know $149 so now it's in that blue zone and that uh, oscillator is kind of uh, flattening out um, you need to be just keep keep an eye on on this thing right so if, if you are exposed to XLK uh, then it may not be a bad idea to reduce your position size or uh, you know uh, if you're just trying to be binary uh, exit uh, from that position uh, or take the profits I would say uh, over here just uh, daily price and just the range which is nothing fancy I mean we just provide this information uh, which you can get from anywhere by the way uh, so that you have it here and if you're checking these things you can keep an eye on you know the, the price and all that uh, another thing that you can do is uh, if you want to track certain stock you can create like a new list uh, start adding those ticker symbols in that list so that you have one place where you can see um, where it is um, at any point of the day so once you scroll down to this section you will see uh, discount and premium list so essentially what it is is discount list you can think of it as um, this is ranked in terms of where we see these red zones these fear zones are shaping up it doesn't mean that this is the best opportunity for the day I still suggest that you go inside let's say Alliance data uh, system you click on it it will open up in the new page so let's look at it uh, in a second once it open up so again some of the basic information like which sector it belong to industry last close today's range one year range how the company's overall fundamental you know looks like you know we provide this score zero to hundred percent so looks like it's a pretty solid company as far as the fundamental goes uh, you scroll down here you will see these red zones are shaping up so uh, I always personally look for more information than just uh, this information when you are making that decision because that is very very important uh, thing to do uh, but this kind of gives me that idea that from you know uh, 115 the price is hovering around this 102 and if ADS is on my um, uh, list or if I'm tracking uh, ADS and I'm looking to buy uh, looking to find opportunity to buy so this may not be a bad idea so this is just telling that uh, you scroll down here uh, we provide uh, some of the had, what company is all about you can read here uh, latest news um, you can read um, here and it gets updated 
throughout the day so whenever you come you'll probably see the latest and greatest news um, for for the company uh, if you are interested in uh, looking at fundamentals for the company you can look here uh, we intend to provide full fundamentals like quarter view and everything but that will come probably next few months now uh, we are still working on those uh, you can save your news let's say you want to read uh, a news you can save it bookmark it and uh, save it it will get saved uh, in this tab right here you can come back later and, and look at it uh, so let's go back to our main dashboard so I was talking about this discount list and premium list it literally give you um, you know where to focus like right so you are looking for opportunities you are looking for the companies uh, which are showing uh, good potential uh, to buy or if you are already exposed to certain stocks you may want to check whether they are in our premium list or not you can filter by sector uh, whatever you want to choose so we were looking at technology so I'll just pull it here so you can see all the companies which are in this uh, discount list you can open it up look at it use this data to analyze uh, make decision um, uh, when you're buying or selling uh, stocks so this is kind of where we are at today um, uh, and and by the way our members love it this data and anyone who is actively using it they have very good feedback for us in fact they also provide you know some of the um, suggestions okay what they need what they think it's it can benefit them and then internally we kind of look at those suggestions and and see if if, if some of those suggestions make sense uh, to introduce in our next releases uh, one thing I want to mention we have a new update coming in uh, probably um, within next two weeks we will have few uh, things uh, we have built something called um, outlier ratings think of it as like when you think of analyst rating so each analyst provide their own you know whether um, they are bullish or bearish uh, for a for a stock or not so we also developed something similar where you will see a daily value of these outlier ratings for each and every stock so uh, we were testing from last few months and the results are phenomenal I mean we are seeing some really really you know uh, in line um, the ratings which are you know really good so you'll probably see that change in coming uh, weeks probably next couple of weeks uh, another change another data point that we are adding is uh, volatility metrics so as a company we have internally developed our own way to track and measure directional volatility on each asset uh, whether it's 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 positive or negative which in fact uh, affect the prices um, of a asset so we are going to provide that information um, as a histogram view uh, to all of our members so think of it as for each and every stock that we cover you will have daily visibility on how the volatility is looking for that particular asset day-to-day -day basis and uh, one more thing that we are adding is uh, basic correlations uh, between for example a stock and then the sector they are in uh, a sector and S&P 500 so uh, just to give you an idea more information uh, whenever you're making a decision um, to buy or sell stocks we are working on something even better than this uh, I'll probably give you an update in, in coming uh, weeks uh, yeah, or probably by next month once we are close to that uh, one of the, our major update but right now these features are available uh, this is how our members are using outlier to basically enhance their due diligence and I strongly believe that you can benefit from it and we have it right now available as part of our free uh, pilot um, which we have extended uh, through the end of the year uh, so you can go to outlieroVTlyr.com and uh, check it out and as I mentioned earlier hopefully I will continue my weekly videos um, from now onwards 
and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. Thank you.